Hello and welcome to Small Act Be a Landlord. The updates come through. We've got tons of stuff to do. Let's go. I am excited. There are so many more different things that we can now uh, do and add and have fun with that, you know, it's just going to be fun. I am taking an early lockbox. I'm going to grab a cultist too. I'm going to get a couple things that uh, could help us out. Miner as well will definitely help us out if we want to grab ore. It's going to give us cash. Uh, grab ore. That sounds fun. I am going to grab the black pepper because we are going to destroy things so we can get some money from that. The bubble will destroy itself so we'll get some money from that too. Uh, I'll grab the cheese. I kind of want to fill up the board a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, I will grab a dwarf for the beer. That sounds like a fine thing. The ore has been opened up. I'll grab a monkey too. All of this seems perfectly okay. Uh, it'd be really nice to see like um, a second cultist. That would be good. I mean, if not, that's okay too, I guess. But like, I, I kind of want to have him give me money or do something. These picks are kind of pointless, so I'm going to ignore them and leave them alone. And then we will carry on skipping. We had cheese. I could have got the mouse, that's for sure. Uh, Chemical 7 is alright to just take as it is. A beer would have been helpful too. I'll take a beer for the dwarf, no worries. Get you drunk on my dude. Loving life. Alright, so we got past the 100 mark kind of easily. And a lucky capsule shows up and we have the choice between lemon or cardboard box. So as much as the cardboard box gives me lots of removal, we have a lot of empty still. So I'd rather just get extra money from that. We've got a golden egg. We can get the rare fossil. And what we can do is we can remove the cultist and that's going to take five off. So if you don't know what the frozen fossil is because the new updates come through, um, let me explain. He destroys itself after 20 spins, but you can reduce it by destroying or removing hexes. And it gives you an eldritch creature once it has been destroyed. So, our goal now is to technically destroy this as soon as possible so we can get some money. I'm going to buff in capsule here just in case we can get some extra cash from it. We're also, you know, buffing. Um, we are buffing empties. We technically don't have to pick anything as long as it doesn't make over one. Like having a cat or something, unless we knew it was going to synergize, because it it's fine to not have it now. We can also grab the lunchbox too, because Chemical 7 shows up in it now. Uh, you know, sometimes we'll grab the milk for the cat. We don't have a mouse, we have a monkey, so we can grab the banana and we'll grab the coconut half of the banana. Uh, for the banana. We'll grab the monkey for the banana and the, the coconut half of the banana. Yep, yep, yep. I understand words. We'll grab the mouse for the cheese. We have plenty of things that can be consumed now. We'll grab a hex. And then what I'm going to do is keep the hex for a second. Because it gives us free. And I'm going to wait until it only has like one more turn left. We managed to double up that cheese. So that's a pretty decent payout there. Um, and then I will now uh, for sure remove this one. And that should actually open that up. Uh, here, if I do this, this is going to go to six. It's going to go to one from removing the hexatedium. It is now zero, and that should uh, give us natural money per spin, which is wonderful. I don't have a toddler, so bar of soap's not really great. However, it will constantly make twos, um, and I think lemons will also give us empties during that point in time. So we'll get we'll get some extra cash out of it, and that that sounds like the best plan. Lockpick's always great because any lockbox that we do have will, you know, go away eventually. And we're kind of sitting kind of pretty because I can now grab hexes and then remove hexes. And it will increase the good old sea pickles money, right? Because he's a very rare. He's already giving us one. And it now means that I think all we have to do is remove one more cultist or one more hex, which I'm just going to do here. Ba da da. And then any frozen fossil that we now see, um, we will be able to just instantly spawn another Eldritch creature. Uh, we definitely need to get to the monetary level to be able to do something with that, though. 
Uh, we are a little bit behind for sure. We have a cow here. I'll grab the cow. And as you can see, the cultists can get destroyed by the Eldritch as well. We only have one turn to get 70 though, uh, and I don't think we're going to make it. But we have a piggy bank that has 100 in it, so we're lucky just for this one. Geologist is going to help us for sure. Cleaning rag may help too. Monkey has gone through and eaten a ton of stuff. Thank you, monkey. And let's carry on. All right, all pearls, shiny pebbles are going to get eaten. Going to give us some extra cash. All the empties are still going to give us some money. Void creatures, do your thing. Give us all that extra empty money. Um, cheese for the mouse, I guess? We have, to, we have to think strategically, but also try and make enough money here. We have a couple more spins to go. I'm going to grab this Hex of Hoarding. Um, the high chance that it's going to just give us cash. It might not do its thing straight away. And then we can um, get rid of it for the Sea Pickle. Good old Sea Pickle. Awesome stuff. So we've made enough money. I'm going to grab another Shiny Pebble. Geologist will... Um, do what he can with those as always and the sea pickle has destroyed it murdered it another oyster sounds like a plan and now we have a bit of, a bit of generation and we can also just fill up the rest um if we have found like frozen fossils so i'm gonna grab the golem here i'm gonna grab the comfy pillow too just in case we do have an opportunity where we're so far ahead that we can actually make decent money of it item capsule Maybe give me a mining pick. That's what I wanted. So that's really good too. Because it means that any ore that we do break down. Um, with regards to the geologist. We're actually going to get paid out even more for. I could kind of technically get a cow here. If I wanted to. Just for like the extra generation. Just for the cats. But I feel like it's not necessary. I think we're kind of sitting in a good spot. I'm going to grab a beer again for the dwarf. And uh, let's just see where we go with this. We're making 11 from that, 10 from that. We have milk that the cat can have. This geologist is going absolutely insane. We can also remove this miner now. As much as he paid us out for a little bit of the ore, it's not necessary with what we've got. So I'll do that off the bat. Cool. And we have a ruby. So we can't do anything with rubies bar, you know, remove them at a later date. We can grab a hex. We have enough money that we can actually skip and get rare. Another frozen fossil. Clear sky. See, this is, I, I don't want you. You're not necessary to me. I'll grab it anyway. But like here you can see Carl the Kerr Knight. Very cool item um, as a common. So now we have the double sea pickle. And we're living... A pretty good life right now. I have a monkey. It could eat the coconut. I honestly don't want to flood too much. I want to make sure that I have kind of a decent level of um, emptiness. So the pearls and stuff can get moved around. But we're doing absolutely wonderful in our first build back into the game. I don't want to reroll here, so I'm not going to. And we're still making constant cash from uh, Mining Pick Geologist, which is beautiful. Let's take another Hex. Uh, these ones are not even bad, because they'll just nick money or whatever. But like, as long as... And as you can see here, I forgot to mention, the Eldritch Creatures, otherly known as Sea Pickles in my head, um, they, they will always give you as much as what has been destroyed this game. So it's not like Geologist where they destroy the things it's um and that's how much they have so i could have four geologists and they could all have different stacks ye old sea pickle um they they gain permanence throughout the same stuff so there we go we've eaten the thievery and now they both gain an extra coin per spin absolutely marvelous so what do i want to do from here i probably Want to skip and go for another rare with Comfy Pillow. We have the opportunity of a Magic Key. A Magic Key again. I don't really want the Magic Key, so I won't get it. And I will just grab another Geologist. And I think I'll grab the Watering Can. So now we have the opportunity of Double Stackers, which is great. And we have uh, good old 
two sea pickles doing their jobs. So what we can do now is kind of clean up this place a little bit um, with regards to what we have other like also on the field. So I would say maybe we could get rid of the uh, cherry and the banana peel and the mouse. Plenty of empties and the flower. We don't want the flower. We've got a clear sky, but we're not even going to use it. We are not even going to use it. We'll grab ourselves the third oyster of the game. Be really good to see, like, um, it would be really good to see, uh, uh, what's the word? Conveyor belt. So now we're sitting at four oysters, four oysters, two sea pickles, two geologists, a dwarf, a monkey, a coin, a cat, and a cow. It's a bit of a weird one for sure, but we can um, we can get some extra removal. Look at those. I don't even have conveyor belt. And uh, these guys are going crazy. We're also getting decent payout um, every single time uh, due to the fact that we have... I don't want any of this, to be fair. Uh, and we can take chili powder because we have at least one chili. But yeah, so because we have cleaning rag, every time the pearls come out, they're still technically giving us two before they get murdered. That poor old cultist, as you can see, if the same... If two sea pickles at the same time... Um, uh, crunch like a cultist or a or a hex they don't double up so and we doubled up this uh, geologist so we're doing beautiful doing absolutely marvelous all right cool uh what do i want i don't want any of this i want none of this what i want to see um for right now uh, I want to get more removal. We can clean up the board. And I want to get... I want to get more frozen fossils. For sure. I want a board full of sea pickles. The thing is, is um, with eldritch creatures, right, you can't really do... It, there's, It's not like a geologist, right, where you, you, um, you get insane generation by just having oysters. Because the things that work for these are anything eldritch, really, yeah? So witches, cultists, and all forms of hexes. So you have to be at least uncommon rarity the whole time to be able to see them. And then you can, you know, do other things with them. But I, I like it. I like having... Right, we can get another rare item if possible. Uh, do, 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 do. Reroll. We can get a third geologist. And the lucky carrot, here's what I was going to say. If we get the lucky carrot, then we'll almost always be dealing with uncommons. We already have a decent amount of oysters where we're sitting, so it's not even a big deal. Um, we can grab another item capsule, maybe we get something nice. It'd be, like, honestly, getting cleaning rag and then kernite would be pretty good. Um, I don't want the chef. I'm going to re-roll here, grab a buffing capsule. Maybe we hit, um, yep, maybe we hit good old geologist dude. Make decent bank from it. Another one, sure thing. Hit him again. What is that luck? Cool, and the cat drank the milk. Beautiful. So we have a bit of removal here, so we can go about our business and um, remove some things if we want to. I think for now, uh, I'm gonna keep my removal just because we, we still have enough. We have enough area on the field to do what we're doing. I will grab a Hex of Destruction and then remove the Destruction, just so these guys stack up by one. But I don't want to have the opportunity that the Hex of Destruction could sneakily uh, nick uh, one of my Geologists, because that would not be fun. For sure, what would be pretty good build would be getting um, the... Getting the Ritual Candle and then also getting the Holy Water, so then the Hexes don't do anything. And then from there you can this is a this is a really this is a double double again. Damn. Um you could hit the the sea pickles and they wouldn't even like lose any money. For instance, we just drained this guy and we didn't get any money for it. Not a fun time, that's for sure. We'll grab the wild card, that's not a big deal. We've now managed to pay our rent. Follow trampoline tails on the old Twitter. Um and I'll grab the witch. And here is the holy water, as I just said, would be really great. 
So not only do we have the holy water, so these hexes don't do anything anymore, we also have a ton of geologists. We can grab a lucky capsule here just for the fun of it. I should have really got the removal capsule due to the fact that we have... Um... Oh, we don't have capsule machine. Right, I picked holy water instead. I had the choice and I chose against it. We will skip. And then I'm going to keep my removal. Oh, no, I don't have to keep my removal anymore. We can just uh, take anything out we, we don't want. So I'm going to just get rid of the cat. And then next I'm going to get rid of the cow. Technically, I should have saved them just in case the cow makes some milk. That is a bit of a dumb decision from me. Not going to lie. We'll grab another bronze arrow, get some more doubles in. This wild card's going to pay out still anyway. And we'll grab a hex of emptiness. This way we have a lot of stuff that's kind of generating and making money on the board and we're kind of flying ahead really. Uh, I can pick anything I want and it's perfectly okay when I have hexes. Look at that. The double double again. What is this this run? Um, we've got a reroll. We have nommed the extra hex so the sea pickles are doing fine. It's beautiful. It's absolutely crazy so the thing is right i can witches only give two i can grab i can grab the witch but technically grabbing the um a hex would be better because we have holy water and it still gives us the same money and all we're wanting is the the hex to be eaten or the witch yeah so like even if it's a witch so that's where we just had the cow produce some milk should have kept the cat around for sure but we can like pick any of these things and it's perfectly fine we can grab ourselves Yet again, another rare item. Uh, magic key, a, or a cow, or an apple, or a silver arrow. I'm going to take the mine, because I'm interested in seeing if we can stack up mining picks, and therefore um, have plenty of extra money. Like So it would be like 10 per ore destroyed, right? That's my idea anyway behind it, so that's what I am planning on doing, and that's why I picked the mine. So we have a bit more removal now. Um, I'm going to use it to remove the cow and the milk. Thank you very much for your services. You are no longer necessary. We are now going to do our very best to empty out the place and get lots of ore. So here's going to be mining pick number two, yeah? Mining pick number two. So do we, in fact, if we mined one ore, get ten from it? We can't tell this time around. I'm pretty sure we only have one ore right now anyway. So we can actually have a look. We have one ore. Okay, so if, if and when this one gets mined, we can tell. If we, we will, in fact, get um, ten. Okay, we had two, so I don't know if both of these count. That would be 20 if it does. But I think we should get 10. We do get 10. So mining picks can, in fact, stack up. That's crazy. I'm going to just take the void stone here. Yet again, things that will break and go away, and we have lots of things that generate for us already. We also have the anthropology degree. Mining pick. We have a lock pick, right? So mega chest can be picked here, too. And now I can, all I really want to do is just clean this clean this build up a little bit. I, th I feel like it's pretty brilliant though so far. Let's see what we get for another rare. Maybe if we're, we're like super lucky, we can get like, um, I guess I get recycling. I really want to pick compost heap, but we have nothing to remove the stuff from like all the fruits and stuff. It would be really fun though. I kind of want to do it regardless. Um... But I won't. I'll get recycling. This is where the next spin we get like a pirate or something. And then I get super excited about having compost heap and then not having it. But that will be a build for a later day for sure. We'll grab a tedium capsule. Maybe we can get lucky. Grab one more oyster. So we'll have five oysters. Um, we did not reroll. Grab another tedium capsule. Sure thing. We'll get another reroll from the spin. And we have the opportunity of grabbing yet again another oyster look at that uh did not happen because we haven't actually popped the tedium capsule then i had to think about that for a second 
Remember, we've got enough luck that we're almost always going to see uncommons. Uh, I mean, a buffing capture would have been fine. I'm going to just re-roll the three times. Never happened. Didn't happen. It's okay. We have enough oysters as it is. I mean, technically, grabbing re uh, bleh, uh, removal capsules and stuff would be pretty good, too. We can grab another hex for the sea pickles. But we all know that the, the star of the... Uh, the star of the show for this, for sure, is is in fact the insane amount of geologists that we got with the silly amount of generation that we got from the oysters. I'm happy with it either way. I want to grab a golem here. I'm going to get some extra money from the mining picks. Going to get all the extra stacking money from the geologists. Big ore. Thank you very much. We definitely do need to get rid of this ruby at some point in time. But it's, it's no... It's not a real big deal right now. There's a wild card as well. Did I hit it with something? Oh, I did. Okay. I was like, that paid out a lot of money. Frozen fossil. Give me another sea pickle. Protractor. It now does every free spins, which is great. It's, I mean, I can't really do anything that will help me because I can't put stuff in the corner. So we'll just, you know, depending on what it's doing, it's just going to do its job. It might mean that every every couple turns we have like a hex in the corner and the the ye old sea pickles eat them. Like that one for instance. So, or it could be like a, we have like an empty spot up here and all the pearls generate into it and that also does the thing. We've got two more removals. So let's get rid of some stuff. I think we'll go for this turn. We'll remove the coin, and we will remove the dwarf. And then the last thing that we have to remove is like the ruby and the three-sided dice. And now we have a million ore that we can mine through. So we've got ten every time. Grabbing like a ton of mines seems like something that would be really fun. Okay, this was the, 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 corner, the corner geologist there. He's going to go through absolutely everything and destroy it all. Beautiful, look at that. Clean, as well as that. 60 payout from that mining pick. Absolutely crazy. I'm still surprised that we have free we have free Oh we have a monkey too. This monkey has just been avoiding me this whole time. I didn't even realise. Got a Robin Hood, new buffed Robin Hood, as you can see here, does a lot of things. I don't care though. We don't need him in this build. Not where we're going. We're just gonna do some silly stuff. All right, I'm gonna grab a buffing capsule. Yeah, okay. That would have been really cool if we got the buffing capsule in the corner there. That would have been really nice. Would have been able to protract the whole thing. We get a golden arrow and we can head ourselves on over to another thing. I don't really want another geologist. We'll grab ourselves another mine. We'll grab ourselves a big symbol bomb. Grab a hex of Midas, grab a hex of draining, grab a buffing capsule, big gore, safe for the lockpick, golem, wealthy capsule, hoarding, and yeah, that's pretty good symbol bomb. We've got plenty of hexes destroyed, mine's giving us stuff, everything's being eaten and demolished. What a good first build back. Oh, another mine? Hell yeah. So many mines, so much ore, so much everything just going everywhere. It's great. I love it. Uh, void stones, sure. Ah, cool. We have the the corner drop. So if any oysters spawn here, um, then technically that. Oh, never mind. Like I say, we have this guy in the corner, so he'd be murdering it and stacking up too. We can take ourselves another big ore. Look at all the stuff. So many sapphires. <laughs> the cleaning rag still does its job, by the way. Like, so we're still getting decent money every time the stuff exists here too. It doubles it up as well, which is pretty great. And we have completely and utterly busted. I mean, I think this one would have also done perfectly fine in apartment floor nine. I think we've we've had a very good first build back. Uh, with all the new things. I think the, the sea pickles did definitely help us out, but grabbing these geologists, we've got an extra mining pick now. So that's like 20, 20 per ore now. Which means if we have situations where we're getting like lots of golems spawn up like this, you know, that's that's 40 just from that, right? 
Jeez. Uh, we have recycling, so I honestly never need to pick reroll capsules ever. We have a lockpick, so one day this will open itself up. And we're just pushing on to the next rent cycle. Grab a removal capsule. I mean, I can re I can, I can honestly reroll to anywhere that I want to go. What a, what a really 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 good first build. Do 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 do. Let's grab a removal capsule here. We should possibly get some more in this email. Um, I'm gonna grab another mine. I kind of want the frozen fossil. The frozen fossil is rare. It used it was uncommon, but it's rare now. Instant ramen gives us more items. Because I think it being uncommon, I think I did say it was uncommon earlier. I apologize, I was wrong. It's rare. I think it was uncommon and it was just a bit too crazy. So technically I could re-roll a lot here um, and go for some more frozen fossils. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait for a lucky capsule. We could re-roll technically for lucky capsules too. We have all the removal as well. So I'll grab this hustling capsule, get rid of the monkey, um, get rid of the ruby, and then get rid of the three-sided dice. And now we are sitting pretty in a very lovely build. We are definitely going to walk into getting a void portal soon. We got an emerald. What would be really good is a way that we could get rid of those. Um, not possible, bar the fact that we remove it. And I mean, it's understandable. They are rare items, you can't just go... It's the same thing with, like, rare fruits, yeah. We'll grab another thing here. Sea pickles getting stacked up pretty well. And, um, yeah, we're looking amazing. I know we've been in Endless for quite a while, and, I mean, we're going to be carrying on that kind of thing. I'm going to grab a silver arrow here, because we can replace some of these bronze ones. And that'll be okay. And what I want to do... I'm going to get rid of this emerald, but I want to do... I kind of... I'm trying to think about what I want to, how I want to go with this, with this build. I could do this build for like literally years where we're sitting right now, but maybe I just want a couple more sea pickles. Maybe I want a couple more sea pickles. Grab a hexatidium, that sounds fine. And then we will get rid of this emerald. Ah, do you know what? I want to grab more mines. That's what I want to do. I want to get this to like 10. Lucky capsule is going to guarantee me rares can guarantee me more mines. We could also get more fossils. Frozen fossil shows up here. I'll grab the frozen fossil over the more mines. We can obviously get more mines anyway. Another frozen fossil shows its face. Swapping device means that we could technically corner on the project projector. Protactor. Protactor. Protractor. Wow. Oh my god, I'm useless at words. The projector, protector, protector. Yeah, we, so we could um, we could corner swap now with a swapping device. We also get another item. Uh, we'll go for the treasure map. We're going to drop over to this side now so we can always see the protractor spins. Um, right now, there's no reason to do anything. I mean, we could technically move these guys close to the middle, and we could also just move the wild cards every single time to something. But here we are, a land of sea pickles and oysters. And it's, it's pretty good. Like I said, I, I, the thing is, like, I, t I technically don't tend to grab swapping device early. Just because, or even just grab it in general. Because I feel like it slows the build down a little bit. I don't need this. I'm going to just grab something that I want to see. Do I have anything for a magic key? Not really. Uh, we could grab a buffing capsule, re-roll it, and then push the buffing capsule into the corner, right? And then... Everything gets doubled. It's something we could do. And then anything that was to spawn, we'd also go through. So I want to see more mines. That's kind of something I want to see. I feel like it's not going to happen, though. Got a moon there. Could have got a golem there. I'll grab the golem. That's okay. Golem is perfectly fine, too. We can also just move this wild card here every single time if we want to, to get more money from it. Like, we honestly have quite a lot of choices. Uh, Hex of Destruction 2, that's already going to be fine. No real big deal from any of this. We tripled this, quadrupled this, making plenty of money from everything. We also quadrupled that. Another Geologist, no thank you. We'll grab another Hex. This guy's perfectly close by, that's all fine. 
move this guy here has an opportunity of being any one of these anything could be doubled or tripled here too so that wild card does its job i'm not always going to think about the insane levels of meta that i could do there i'm going to just re-roll and grab another golem just because it's fun i did want to see more mines but i think technically having five mines and five mining picks is perfectly okay too uh what would be really great to see now um i'm gonna just not swap is this spin if we were to get given a Midas bomb? I, I honestly would love it if we were to get given a, a Midas bomb for this one. I actually might re roll a hundred times and hope. Uh, we've got a couple lucky capsules. I'll grab the lucky capsule for now. Uh, we don't really have to move anything at all, but what I will do is move this here. And that means that any oysters that do pop they can go there didn't happen but that's all right we are making plenty of money so we got the pirate so i would normally happily just take the pirate um but i think it's too far into the build now so i'm going to ignore it um however the pirate is something really fun that i will definitely mess with later on in, in a different build for sure so let's re-roll a couple more times didn't get anything great there Triple coin, shrine. Shrine would be pretty bad here right now. Fertilizer, sure thing. Because um, if we were to get shrine, it meant that any time we would get like a hex. It's not the hexes, but any time we'd like pick like a cultist. Wait, we can't pick cultists. Any time we pick like a witch. Any time we pick like a witch or something. Um, it would give us a spirit. Not helpful. Not needed. I honestly do not need to swap anything around here. We are doing pretty great. Um... We also got rid of most of that ore. We're going to get a pretty decent penny from the money that comes from the mining pick here. Another hex of hoarding. Don't mind if I do. I will put that there so these guys can stack up. We'll get this archaeolog archaeologist on. We'll get this geologist to 100 for sure. And um, it's my understanding that this, this build could um, honestly go on forever. Which is cool. I'm happy with it. I mean, I'm pretty pretty happy with uh, how far we've managed to get and mess around with these sepicles. Each one of these giving us a pretty decent amount of money. I think it's like 43 per if they're not getting doubled up. All these bronze and silver arrows really are helping out at the end of the day. Item capsule gives me random stuff. I mean, I, I, what even is there left to get? We've got checkered flag now. Amazing. Look at this useless item. I mean, sometimes it's good. We've got 2,000 pop from that. Very cool. Uh, this is the protractor run again. I could have moved the ore, but I'm getting a little bit lazy. Very sorry. I did kind of want to just wait and... Um, I don't want the wild card either. Like, technically the wild card's fine. I mean, having any of this stuff's fine where we're at. But, um, yeah. We could take this geologist far, right? We, I, could, I could sit in this build... Um, I think for eternity at the moment where we're at. With the level of geologists that we have, the fact that we have protract protractor, we have four oysters, we have uh, a lot of mining picks and a lot of golems that are giving us a lot of money. Like there's there's so much extra generation that we have here that and all the all the doubling and stuff that the coins are doing. We're in a really, really good situation. I'm happy to continuously skip. Got ourselves another frozen thing. I don't really even want the oil can, but I'll grab it anyway. Um, and I'll grab the small symbol bomb. We'll go through the symbols. Get ourselves a hex. Get ourselves a hex. And I could respin columns if I wanted to, too. Like, I could do everything. The only thing I don't really have the access to is having the telescope, which would bust this, I mean, even more than where we're at right now. This, this build has become insane um with very i feel like very minimal effort i'm not sure if i if i really was pushing towards too much for synergies but it still has managed to to go really well what i'm definitely interested in doing uh, later on is uh, finding a pirate early and trying to do something with that because the pirate seems like a really fun thing we're going to carry on grabbing hexes I mean, we because we have the respin ability. We do. Oh, the treasure chest. We can get. We can break this now and get the treasure chest and uh, the key. We've had it for twenty turns. 
Good thing. I didn't even notice it. I think we got it from an item capsule, possibly, or I might have actually picked it myself. So there's a chest and the key. It will, you know, go away on its own some. But yeah, give me, give me a Midas bomb right now. G give me it right now, please. That's, oh. I saw purple and I got excited. God dang it. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, oh, the Midas bomb is coming now. It's done it. Lucky capsule, what are you going to give me? What are you going to give me, Midas capsule? A moon or a witch. Which is fine, which will get eaten. We'll respin this. Maybe she shows up. No, okay. Also, I was going to say, yes, I could have moved the key to the chest the whole time. Um, but clearly, I wanted to... I wanted to move this safe to this key. That was my whole plan. I planned this preemptively. I'm not an idiot. Don't at me. I promise. Uh, do, do, do. Another mine. Woo. Beautiful stuff. Plenty more mines. Plenty more mining picks. Plenty more money. But at the end of the day, I really just want to see a Midas bomb. And if we're, like, really lucky with the Midas Bomb, what we can do is we can hide it with, like, respinning the stuff. Um, I mean, that's a couple Midases. That's not really what I wanted to see. Um, none of this is worth anything for me, so that's cool. Like, it's a, it's, it's a Midas. It's not a bomb. And then, you know, we're just going to hit the whole thing with a bomb. And that sounds like fun. Do, 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 do. Lucky capsule. Could have picked a golem. Could have picked anything there. I mean, the lucky capsule guarantees us a rare, right? I don't know if it guarantees us past, you know, very rares. So I don't even know if it's a good idea to, like, reroll on that. Because it could just be that we're, like, lessening our chance. So I won't. And I'll just grab a witch. And I'll lob the witch up there so she can get eaten. I mean, I'll lob the eldritch creature. And we got ourselves a sixth mining pick. We're looking good. Look at this. Look at, they're making giving us 50 per. We'll grab a Hex of Destruction. It's not going to bother us. It's not going to do anything. It doesn't even matter. We can do whatever we want. This build is absolutely insane. We're living the good life right now. Hex of Tedium. Sounds good. Uh, yep, yep, yep. All these guys are going to get eaten. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. The, the arrow's going every direction in the wrong way. Quibble would always make that work better. Um... Mega chest. I was. That's the second time, like, I've just been offered a very rare, and it's the wrong very rare. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to skip ahead. I'm not gonna do like a quick thing because it could actually take forever. I'm gonna skip ahead, uh, and then I'm gonna record when I find our Midas bomb so we can give ourselves a nice ending, alright? So, I will. See you extremely shortly, in the next five seconds anyway. For you, for me, it could be any time. Um, and we will we will find this minus bomb. See you soon! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, so I am back and um, in the process of attempting to find this Midas bomb, I have gained like three more sea pickles, a diamond has showed up from mining ore, I have gained the sunglasses item, which if you don't know what that is, I will tell you about it now. It is over here. It gives you one extra removal as long as you have more. Um, and I have been every... So I'll let, you, I'll let you in on what I've been doing. So I will be spinning. I just skip the spins as I go along like this. I gained quiver as well, by the way. Um, and I spin and I spin. And then what I do is... We get stuff that the guys can use, so sea pickles, or we can get stuff for the ore for the guys. You can see that each one of these geologists is over 100. I can get this because I know I can only have one of it. We hit two, so next spin will be the next spin. So I will re-roll. And as you can see here, I've been getting a lot of very rares. Um, I have so far got one watermelon, uh, three golden arrows, which I haven't picked, uh, the Highlander, two wild cards which i have removed and some other stuff so we have been here for quite a while um 
I don't actually know how long I've been doing this for, but I really want this Midas bomb for you guys. So we will continue on. Um, we will continue on. For sure. I should probably remove this diamond at some point. Right now, I just kind of left it there just because it was funny to me that like um, we finally got through enough ore that we got a diamond. And then I removed the diamond and then we got another one. So this is the protractor spin again. And this is all I do. I do the I do the triple reroll um, because even like a lucky capsule is not going to help you here. Um, it won't do anything. It is 100% just luck. And we have a lucky carrot, so we are getting very rare. As you can see, a diamond showed up. It's not what I want, but you know, it's what's happening. Um, I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna grab the devil deal and grab the looting glove. And we have basically got every single rare item known to man now. So all we are doing is spin, 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 and on the when this shows two at the end of the spin, then we we reroll and hope to God that we do in fact get. <laughs> we do in fact get the Midas spawn. Um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready for this to happen. Of course, you know, there's lots of chances. However, we, we managed to get rid of the chance of one of the very rares by taking the Highlander. Um, we can... This is the reroll that I need to reroll on for the very rare. We did not get it. That is okay. And we shall carry on. I mean, I'll hold her around for a couple more, and we'll see what happens. Um, if we get it, if we're not. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. If not, then um, I will cry to myself very softly for a little bit uh, before, you know, we give up. However, due to the fact we have recycling, it's it's been pretty good. We, we do have a lot of opportunities and chances for it. Uh, just, we can just grab a Hexatedium. Didn't even show up. Didn't even shop again. That's the only thing I'm worried about um, if we do get the Midas. Having, like, not all the geologists and stuff shop. Have We have so much removal that we can just remove it that we have just the sea pickles and stuff instead. This is the reroll I want to do. Did not get it on the thing. Very unfortunate. One day. One day. You'll show up, Midas bomb. And you'll finish what I started. <laughs> absolutely lovely build though if you did if you have got this far thank you for watching please like subscribe and all of that good stuff you guys have been absolutely wonderful thank you so much for watching my stuff as always you know you guys are great we will carry on if not i'm gonna say goodbye now right because this could take me forever it might just not happen i mean i know i have endless and i know technically i have all day but how, I'm recording quite late at night, so I'll just, um, <laughs> I'll say goodbye now. And then before the ending, if it happens, you'll get the Midas bomb. If not, I'm so sorry. Thank you for watching and goodbye. It happened. Oh God, it happened. Okay. Whew. All right, I have been here quite a while, as you can see from the 109s. Let's go. I don't want to respin this, and then we're gonna move you into the corner. Okay, bye bye everyone. <laughs> He's still gonna do the things because of the oysters. Oh my god, it's gone. It's finished. It's done. The money come in. Kapow! It's not even that that much, is it? Look. Oh. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye.